I'm here in the Intellifront gallery and let's take a look at what we see as end users. And first in the dashboards view, here are the two dashboards that I have access to. We've got customer profitability and sales dashboard. Let's move across to crystal reports to see what reports I can access there. And then to my SSRS reports I have access to, there's those three reports. So back to dashboards, let's have a look at the first one called customer profitability that has been set up for me. And this first tab shows me how the sales executives are performing. So we're on Annalie's card, let's toggle her off so we can compare the whole team. Then let's just look at Tina's card. We can switch to Valerie's. So let's move on to the second tab of this dashboard, which industry and products are performing best. Let's drill down here into the paper industry. We can see we have one customer there buying one product. How about retail? Again, we've got one customer buying a different product, but with a healthier margin this time. And let's toggle retail off to return to the overview. Of course, we can also investigate by product instead of industry. So back to viewing our choice of dashboards, let's now choose the sales dashboard that's been set up for me. Here I have a visual overview of my sales figures by country, salesperson, by date, and also by product. And I can hover over areas to set the exact data and click to drill down into, let's say only Robert's sales, now into Nancy's figures, and how about Janet's? So now we're looking at Janet's sales. What's her total only in the US? Then let's click on the US to clear the salesperson filter and view all the sales across the US. Then how about Germany and Brazil? And I still get this lovely bar within the salesperson's pie chart for each country. And on the side here, we can pop out the filters menu and check on the active filters. And here we can pick from the list instead. Let's choose Brazil here. Let's pop the filters menu away and go back to our dashboards view. Moving over here to look at our key performance indicators. So these have been set up for me, but I can pin them to the top of my gallery view like this. So I can see them all the time. Let's just pin all four for now. Obviously when I have a lot more, um, this will really help me choose the ones that suit me. Moving to my reports from my crystal report sources. They're now appearing obviously below my pinned KPIs there. And then to my SQL server reports, three of those from that source. So let's choose this report. Let's click and see what options I've been given as an end user. So I can run the report into a PDF or an Excel sheet. So let's generate that now. And there it's been added to the queue. Let's run another as well from my crystal report sources. Let's choose orders by month. Let's see all the options. And it's currently going to filter by this company name, Bottom Dollar Markets. So let's choose Chop Suey Chinese and then generate the report and there it is added to the queue and that's it my reports are on their way